This is a great honor for our family, for you to have come here today to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. The fact that our world is in great trouble today, it feels like. Yep. But it takes leaders like you, Mr. President, who believe that a philosophy that my father used, the philosophy of nonviolence and inclusion, is certainly needed today, maybe more than ever before that we've lived. Yes. We as a world community are at odds. We even as a national community, the United States, are at odds more than we've ever been before. Mm -hmm. My father used to say that it only takes a few good women and men to bring about change. Yes, that's yes. right, that's right. That's right. Amen. But he also told us that we must learn nonviolence or we might face non-existence. That's not something we want to hear. Because we as a human species must learn to turn to each other and stop turning on each other. That's right. That's right. We are much better than the behavior we are exhibiting in our nation and throughout the world. Today, Again, has been a great honor, Mr. President, for you to be here. And each of you who've chosen to be here. Each of you could have been anywhere else in our nation or the world. But today you chose to be here. Yes. And we are here together. Yes. Hopefully, we can foster a spirit of love. Yes. And we also have to learn forgiveness. Yes. That's right. That's right. Finally, I would end by saying, and our daughter is going to say something. She is fluent in Spanish. Let's go! My wife and I and our daughter, it has been wonderful to be here today. But I want to encourage all of us never to give up, never to give out. No. Never to give in. Dad said we must hew out of a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. So perhaps this day is a beginning of something that can become greater for our nation and for everyone. In the world. Thank you. And God bless you. Bravo! Bravo. Bravo.